let's talk about last night. What do you think? What, what was that all about? Uh, it, it was awful, but um, l- listen, I, I love their defense. You know, that's who they are. Right. Um, and, you know, after the first three possessions with the Packers, they had minus yards. Yeah. You know, so I'm thinking defensively because we changed coordinators. So defensively, I was concerned. Yes. Uh, first, mm-hmm. that's going to be okay. Um and I actually think, uh, Mitch, I think we'll be fine. I, I really do. It was the first game. I'm amazed at none of the quarterbacks. Uh, uh, I had uh, dinner with Goff, and it told me they hadn't thrown one pass no. in the pre. I've never heard of that. Uh, Rodgers didn't. Yeah. I mean, Brady r- rarely sits out preseason game number three. He did get a couple in, right, Chris? Didn't he? Yeah, He's, he played a little bit. But, it's, but pretty much you'd rather the guy be healthy than – Absolutely. You deal with the rust rather yeah. than rather than I, if I'm IR. a coach, I'm, I'm taking rust over you right. know an injury, you know for sure. Uh, but it's a great example that you can't, no matter how you try to, games are different, you know, than anything you can do on the practice field. They just are, um, and and you could see that from both quarterbacks yesterday. Yeah, I know, and plus it was a new system for for Rodgers and and, and a, a new coach in his ear yeah. and a new way of going about his business. He had to be just out of body, right? I mean, just Yeah, you know, he's such, an, he's such a veteran. I mean, the, the pass he threw for the court, for the touchdown, it was, it was, you know, was, he just threw it up and told the guy to go get it, yep. you know, but you know, that's the new way. What, know, sort of, what sort of fan are you? I mean, you, when, where were you watching the game? At home? Oh, last night? I was watching the game um, and then in the first quarter, I, I didn't like the location because I didn't like how we were playing. Uh, you 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 mean your physical location yeah, when you were watching? Yeah, so I physically changed locations, <laughs> you know. Um, and then in the third quarter, uh, I'm sitting there with my girlfriend. And we're watching um, the game at a bar. Okay. And I don't like it again. And and I tell her we have to move and go to another location. Like drive somewhere else? Uh, or no, there somewhere? was a restaurant in the back part, and so I just thought if I changed my seating, that, <laughs> that, that things would change, and nothing changed. I mean, it, you just kept looking at it, and we are stuck on three forever. By the way, we, we did make a, a really nice field goal. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, yeah, that that happened. Nice. That happens. That nice. So are you the same way when you're coaching, that you need to change <laughs> no, physical I'm location? Not, it's I mean, amazing. I'm, I'm completely different and opposite of that coaching. I'm – Pretty much, um, we're going to do this, um, you know, maybe because I, I have my own control that's of it. That's true. You know, and so maybe that's it. It's probably the way, you know, watching your kids uh, play sports, you know, I was I was a little antsy that way as well. You sure. know, I'd have my hat, then I'd put it between my legs. I would always, it was all my, it was always my hat. Okay. Because I always have a hat. I was moving it around. I would move it to the left, move it to the right until things start going well. But right. as a coach, you just sit there and coach. And you told me off camera too that uh, you also have the ability, since you were once a broadcasting partner of him, to call Al Michaels during the game. Did you <laughs> yeah, contact him in the booth? I was him. Uh, and I still give him crap because last year in that, that big – game that the Bears lost, but Al said something he has never said. Which is? Oh, boy. Before the kick, he kept saying, oh, boy, this is a big kick. Oh, boy. And I was texting him, please stop saying that. And and obviously, the double bonk happened. Well, so. I thought I thought that when Pinheiro hit it last night, of all the times for Al to be able to pull out the Do You Believe in Miracles call <laughs> yeah, one more time. It wouldn't, it wouldn't have been bad. That would have been the perfect time. I have time. never seen so many people so excited over a, a field goal kick. You know? I know, because it was just so brutal the way they went out last year, and the preseason was struggling too. Yeah. And, and then the co- and then Nagy made a decision last night, let's go for it on fourth and ten instead of a 51-yarder. Yeah, yeah. What, when it, when, do you know sometimes, do you think sometimes, Doc Rivers here, when you are coaching, I'm making this move, and I know I'm going to be second-guessed if this doesn't work out. Does that actually uh, go through your temples when you do that? You think about that. You just, you know that it's a tough decision. And um, I think when you coach, you accept that. Like, you don't think about if it doesn't work. Uh, you, you just think about it working. Um, and, and then when it doesn't work, sometimes because it doesn't, uh, you know you are, but that's part of the job. And if you can't, you have to accept that. Like, as part of the job. You, you really do. You know what I tell my players uh, the first day of camp? I'll what? tell them in two weeks. What is that? Uh, I introduce my name. Hey, I'm Doc Rivers, and uh, I'm human. Uh, and every decision I make is going to be to win. Unfortunately for all of you, they're not all going to be right. So get over <laughs> it. 
I say it every year. Is that right? Yeah, because it's a fact, you know. Um, as long as you know you're trying to do it for the right reason, uh, every decision, then you're pretty free in your decision making. Congrats on your great summer. Yeah, thanks. Uh, go hit him straight later on today. Amen to that. You're welcome here anytime. You know that. You're a great man, Doc Rivers. When the Bears clinch, I'm coming back. W what are they clinching? <laughs> oh, they're, they're, the Bears are going to be in the Super Bowl this year. Like, I didn't say like that last year, so I'm that nuts. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so you, I don't have proof from last night. No, no, clearly. no. Okay, yeah. so they will be in Miami. Th they have a great shot at it. Okay, I'm backing up already, but they have a great <laughs> yeah, shot yeah, at it. I know you're already, you're, already, <laughs> you're already sidestepping. I don't know what the Clippers' schedule is on the first Sunday of February. We're Goodbye. always playing, but I can always get thrown out of a game and make it. <laughs> <laughs> You have that control. I do. You I have do. that control. <laughs> For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV. For free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.